I use all public transport. I've got an Uber over here today. I use taxis on a regular basis. I use public transport as well. Uh, they probably, dare I say it, I probably don't use trams as much because of the access points on and off. Well, I was talking about a little bit of safety for people on transport, especially travelling at night. Well, you need a lot more um, lower floor trams and you need these, like someone said about the wheelchairs, to go into any carriage of the train. That needs to be fixed. With the National Disability Insurance Scheme and NDIS starting, well then, I'm going to lose the mobility allowance and lose a bit of my money. But my mum is panicking about that and so one way that problem can be solved is if the government will give me more money by my pension when the mobility allowance goes, well then that problem will be solved for me. More training for staff and that to where people with different disabilities um, you know, and uh, more accessible to um, more carriages for people in wheelchairs. Try to make it really clear that you need to speak up for yourself and you need to speak up for each other and work together and work with like groups and um, you know election times loom. Talk to your politicians that's what they're there for and they want to hear these stories as well and um, but you go to them and make sure that you've got a great story to share with them along with some of the suggestions I think would be wonderful to learn from today. Uh, well, firstly, I think you need to build in disability to the basic thinking about everything on its attack on. If you're building a new station or a car park or ordering anything, it's got to be accessible. Uh, the other thing I think that's really important can make it better, as people said today, is just clear communication, accessible formats, accessible language that so people understand and there's a good clear communication about what's happening and what's not happening. I was able to explain to them this is the services Travellers Aid provide. Not only do we provide physical services like the buggy, the companion service, um, personal care service, but we also have training programs that would be really good for government departments.